Again, and I'm in Deadwood, South Dakota. Now this is the place where Wild Bill Hickok got shot. Also the Bullock Hotel, which is known to be haunted by Seth Bullock. And Pam's Purple Door was the longest running brothel in South Dakota. I'm gonna step into the number 10 saloon, is, and that's where Wild Bill Hickok was shot. But check out, it is Sturgis Bike Week. Check out all these bikes. Main Street, Deadwood, South Dakota. Now, this is the place where Wild Bill Hickok actually got shot. They got some of the memorabilia here. Check it out. This is the chair. That's the chair he was in. And right here, what's called the dead man's hand. Ace is an ace. These are the cards that he held when he got shot. By Jack McCall. This place has got a lot of cool things about it, including really cute, sexy waitresses. Peace out, OMG. Thank you. Yeah, gambling's legal here in Deadwood. Could someone send me a little extra cash? Hey, it's me again, Deadwood, South Dakota at the Franklin Hotel. Now this hotel, check it out was built in 1904 and people like John Wayne have stayed here big and rich President Taft Roosevelt Eisenhower it's it's a way cool place been around forever Franklin Hotel Hey, it's me again. I'm in Deadwood, South Dakota at the Bullock Hotel. Now this place is world renowned for a few things. Uh, one of them is this place is noted to be haunted haunted by the legend of Seth Bullock. I'm here with the manager and the owner and been here forever, close enough. And and say hi to everybody. Hi. Hey, and how long you been here? I have worked for this company for six years. Six years, like, uh, like uh, so you know the legend of Seth Bullock then? Yes. Can you tell us about it? Well, the legend says that he frequented 211 in the hotel. You're talking room 211? Room 211. Okay. And he would put his boots outside of his door every night to get shine. There has been a guest that has stayed here that got up in the morning, couldn't find his shoes, was going to the front desk to see if they had seen his shoes. And as he walked outside of his door, his shoes were sitting outside of his door. Do, 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 do. And now, from what I understand, uh, Unsolved Mysteries did an episode here, right? Yes, they did. All right, that's wonderful. Now, uh, you said that you got some really cool, like, dark down in the basement thing you want to show me? Yes. Awesome, man. This is going to be way cool. Follow me. Hey, it's... Yeah? Oh, my gosh. It's Maybe me it's again. it's just dark enough. I don't think it ever does that. Hey, I'm down in this, in the basement at the Bulk Hotel, which there's been a lot of things that happened down in this little bar here that is a little bit weird. Now, I just had something weird happen to me. Right now, the light is shining from my phone when I put it on, on um, video, and I've never had that happen. But I'm here still with Ann, who she's, she's the boss here, and tell some things that happened right here at this bar. Last fall, during a ghost tour, we had a couple of ladies and their daughters come down here, take a picture of this bar. And in the right-hand corner of that picture was a little girl with a maroon dress on, lace on her sleeves. And the you, picture was as clear as a bell. And you saw the picture? Yes, I did. What else? You said there's some other things that kind of haunted down here in this bar. Well, another sign that Seth is around is the distinct smell of cigar smoke. And you've witnessed that? I, I have witnessed that. Oh my gosh, I got a cigar in my pocket right now. But you can't, now, now tell me this, it's against the law now to smoke here. So do you like get on Seth when you smell cigar smoke? We let him go. You let him go? Yeah. Okay, well, you know, hopefully the law don't come in and go, hey, Ann, I smell cigar smoke, you're in trouble. But, Ann, once again, I thank you for showing me the ghost tour as much as you can right yeah. now. I'm still here with Ann at the Seth, uh, at the Bullock Hotel. Seth. Now, I was going to ask you, is there any other entities that, other than that one little girl and, and Seth, of course, that you know of? There are children here. Um, Seth Seller 
was a children's infirmary. Infirmary for what? I believe it was smallpox. Okay. And occasionally guests that are staying here will hear children running up and down the hallway. And upon investigating, there is no one there. If I heard that, I'd be getting out my spanking stick. Thanks again, Ann. You're welcome. Okay, so Pam's Purple Door, the oldest running brothel in South Dakota, no longer exists. I gotta say, it's the only time that I've ever experienced a house of ill repute. Uh, I paid $10 for 10 minutes. I tried to get my nine bucks back, but... Hey, it's me again, and I just stopped at this cool little bar uh, in the Black Hills of South Dakota for a burger and a beer. Now, if you be the first one to guess where I'm at, you win this cigar right here. Yeah, it's a Swisher Sweet. Check it out. Ain't it neat? A Swisher Sweet. Can't be beat. Swisher Sweet. Let me repeat. Swisher Sweet. Can't compete with Swisher Sweet. Smell my feet. Swisher Sweet. Beat my meat. Swisher Sweet. It's me again, and I'm at Mount Rushmore. Way cool place, and I've been looking up there and trying to figure out, I kind of recognize George and Martha, but who's that other couple? Hey, I think I got it figured out. You got George and Martha, and that guy's got some glasses on. I think it's Ozzy Osbourne. that snaz on him. If he had to blow his nose, it'd be a boulder booger. <laughs> That's one of George's boulder boogers. Hey, I was just thinking, if I started climbing up these rocks, how far would I get before they stop me? I think I'll check it out. Hey, it's me again, and I'm here with my newest, bestest friend, Julia. How you doing, Julia? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Hey, now, here's this really cool. Julia, with only one ball-peen hammer and a rock chisel, crawled up there and chiseled out those faces up there. How long did that take you? It took me 14 years. 14 years? You don't look like you're 14 years old. Well, must okay. be doing something right. Okay, you know, and I looked up there, Julia, and I recognized George and Martha, but who's that other couple? <laughs> um, there's a... There's Lincoln, Lincoln. And, and Mary. Lincoln and Mary? Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Well, I really appreciate you carving out what you did there, and uh, all the friends back home are going to love it. Peace out. OMG. Thank you. <laughs> it's me again, 
And I'm here with my newest, bestest friend. What's your name, my friend? Daryl Redcloud is my name. Daryl Redcloud. And I know that you're Lakota Sioux, is that yes, correct? Yes, I am. I'm Lakota Sioux. I'm a blood descendant of Chief Redcloud of the Oglala Lakota people. I was going to ask you that because I've heard of Chief Redcloud and you said you're from that family. Yeah, That's I, actually here at Mount Rushmore at one time they even talked about putting Red Cloud up there before they came up with the presidents. Wow, that's not a bad now. Now is uh, uh, Crazy Horse is, is he Lakota? Yes, he is. He's part of uh, Chief Red Cloud's band. I see, and and how and that's just not too far from here, right? Yeah, it's only about uh, I would say seventeen to twenty miles from here, something like that. Okay, let me let me ask you: the uh, are those turkey feathers or? Uh, on this side, they are turkey feathers. Okay. Right down the center, you got eagle feathers. Okay. And I was going to ask you, is, is there anything significant about the way yours are or arranged? Or, or do they, is there a significance to how the head piece is? Well, I myself, I got two Lakota names. So I wear two eagle feathers. Okay. And then the turkey feathers are more of a decoration. Okay. All right. My two Lakota names. One of them is Wamli Shio Ahi. Eagle brings a message. The other one is Ka Ocho Kan Wakan Wichasha. His way is sacred. Is my second name. Okay. Uh, I, I know very little Lakota, of course, but Washte means. It means good. Okay. I always thought it meant it's laundry time. Ah, it's that, wash day. Uh, yeah, it is actually. Whenever you're <laughs> speaking English. <laughs> but when you're speaking Lakota, it means good. Okay, okay. I, 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 I have a little YouTube thing, and I always try to end with, like, peace out, OMG, thank you. How would you say peace and out in Lakota? I will see you again. Okay, and then, uh, uh, thank you. How do you say thank you? Thank you very much. That's a lot of words for a little word. That's, that's got a long language. But it has an in-depth meaning to it, too. All right. Well, I appreciate it. I love what you did there, and I thank you for it. You're welcome. You have a wonderful day. You do. Peace out. OMG. Thank you. Say that one more time.